I'm a broke bitch. How's it going guys? It's Thomas on Planet Tech and today I'm going to be explaining how I got three UCS 8080s and two of them for free. If you haven't seen the vlog that I posted where I managed to get three of the UCS 8080s on day one, then I strongly suggest you go check that out now. I'll leave a card on the screen and link in the description. You can go check that out and then come back here and I'll explain in a little bit more detail how I got two of them for free. I do acknowledge that I didn't really explain it all that well in the vlog. The vlog was like almost half hour long anyway um, and the pacing of it, it would have just really slowed it down if I had done a like long winded explanation so I figured I can just do this video and it will clear everything up. If you can leave a like on this video before we get started that would be great and subscribe if you're new around here for some awesome Lego Star Wars content. There's four points that I want to talk about before we get into the actual maths and the calculations of how I got two of them for free and the first is VIP points. So everyone knows that you can collect VIP points every time you make a purchase from either lego.com or lego shop at home. I've been saving my VIP points up for like a year now and I'll only buy lego from lego.com when there's double VIP points or a really good promo and occasionally if I'm in the store I'll get like pav cups and some builder minifigure stuff. Every now and then if you check your emails and keep on top of things, sometimes LEGO do like to give out bonus VIP points as well, so it's worth checking about that and you can get like extra codes for bonus points. Nintendo actually did a giveaway thing before a couple of months ago where that every time you signed up to the Nintendo uh, website you could get 250 bonus VIP points. And so I had quite a few emails, so I ended up getting like £25 extra in VIP points just for signing up to Nintendo with my email. So little things like that can all really help you accumulate VIP points quite quickly. Without getting into the nitty gritty of how the conversion of VIP points work in different regions with different currencies, basically all the VIP holders in the UK got an email sent round with the wrong exchange conversion and it meant that anyone in the UK had a 48 hour window to exchange their VIP points for vouchers but at a lot better rate. At the time that I got that email I had about £430 in VIP points but it meant with this kind of blunder that Lego had made if I then converted all my VIP points into vouchers I'd actually got an extra £100 in VIP points and because I knew I was going to be putting it towards the 8080 anyway and the 8080 was going to be coming out within the 60 day period that you have when you convert your VIP points to vouchers I figured I've got to do it this is like £100 in free money it was perfect it was quality time and you couldn't have timed it better. The next thing I want to talk about is cash back. Now I did a whole video on my tech productions channel about how I get Lego cheap. I'll leave a link in the description below. You can check that out if you want to go in a bit more detail about how it works and all the websites and different shops you can use to gain cash back. But Quidco is the one that I use. Again, like my VIP points, I've just been accumulating them over time and on Quidco, you can get cash back from stores like lego.com. They've even got Firestar toys on there, uh, Shop Disney as well, eBay, loads and loads of stuff. Uh, and another good one is if you're going on like vacations, maybe not so much for the younger audience, but if you're going on vacation and stuff, um, hotels give like a really, really good cash back rating as well. So yeah, I've just been accumulating that over time. So as you can see with that £535 in VIP points and that £325 in cash back, I'm already starting to build up a bit of a pool of money uh, to put towards these 8080s. So the other big factor that I was bearing in mind when I was purchasing these 8080s was the gift with purchase. So as you guys probably know that there was a Luke Skywalker gift with purchase that came when you just bought the 8080. There was no other way of getting it. It wasn't like a normal spend threshold. You could only buy it with the 8080 and that was obviously like a £700 spend. So that immediately puts a high value on the promo. I managed to sell all my promos very quickly on eBay and eBay were also coincidentally running a max 80% off final value fees which gives a massive saving to sellers on, on eBay when they're selling their big products. All in all, for the three Luke's lightsaber promos, I ended up getting £500 after all the fees. And that doesn't include all the extra promos that I got from the midnight release. I haven't sold any of them yet. I probably will. So that's even more money off, I guess. But for the sake of this video, we'll call it £500 for the three Luke's lightsaber promos. So the last thing I want to talk about before we get into the maths is the purchasing order. The purchasing order was really important so that I managed to make sure I could get the most out of my VIP points. So at the midnight release, I bought two 8080s and I didn't use any of my VIP points. I forgot to use them on the second one and that's why I ended up getting the third one. But yeah, so I ended up accumulating an extra £70 in VIP points from those two purchases on the two 8080s. 
So when it comes to paying for the third 8080, I had £605 in VIP points accumulated, so I only spent £95 on the third 8080. It was also quite funny actually because when I come to redeem my VIP points at the store, the uh, the manager was like, oh my god, I've never seen that many VIP points be redeemed at once. It was crazy, like she, I think she almost had a heart attack, it was quite funny. Okay, so now onto the maths, which is not my strongest point, but I've gone over and over it and tried to make sure. And if you catch me looking down this way, it's because I've got notes, because I don't want to get this wrong again. I don't want to leave anyone confused after this video, so forgive me for that. Okay, so the total retail value of the three 8080s comes to £2,100. Obviously, I didn't pay that, so first off, we will take away the £605 in VIP points that I had and that takes us down to 1,495 that I paid in cash for the UCS 8080s. So of that 1,495 pounds, 325 pounds of that was from Quidco, and that takes us down to 1,170 pounds. And if we take that 1,170 pounds and minus 500 pounds that I got back for the promos, that leaves us with 670 pounds that I'd spent for the three UCS 8080s. So as you can see there, it is under the value of one. I got like two for free and one for 670 pounds, so below retail. So guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope I've cleared everything up and explained things a little bit better. Uh, if there's anything that you would like to ask me, please feel free to leave them down in the comments. I will definitely reply or drop me a message on Instagram, uh, planet underscore tech on Instagram. Go check me out on there. Give me a follow while you're there as well. If you've enjoyed this video, then please do subscribe to the channel as well. I've got loads of other LEGO Star Wars content coming in the new year, including Droid and Clone Army videos, which I'm super excited, uh, and some mocks and mock reviews as well. So stay tuned for that. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.